Well, it started off with, like say, in pinstriping and things like that. Um, from that, I started doing scallops, just little parts of scallops off with little teardrops and things like that. And again, it started a, a lot of that because you could do it on dragsters and race cars and things like that. So then you start doing pinstriping a little more and a little more and a little more on cars and and custom cars and things like that. Well, as it kept growing, growing from a little bit of flames we would put on the bottom of the rock or molding or something, or some on the scoops up on the hood or lubers or whatever. And it just kept doing more and more and as you got more and more into paint work. And it's always in designing of different scallops and flames and sections of it, you know. So, like I say, it just kept going and going until I finally learned all the good things about paint, too. Painting complete cars and things like that. But it starts off with a little bit until you end up doing complete jobs and things like that. Did you, um, were you sort of trying to outpaint each other, you know, or outclass each other in your paint jobs, or was there competition there? Well, not so much in complete custom uh, paint jobs. Uh, you're supposed to have that when you get done with your whole custom car. Uh, you better be very good tops at your paint job at the same. But as far as just the paint job in itself, no, that wasn't big time uh, with customs things. Now, in sport cars, different story. You don't do any customs to a sporty car. You keep those guys the same as they're supposed to be, and only the paint jobs have got to be just flawless. 100 pointers everywhere. And that's, of course, from the motor all the way through. So that's the way that action and things like that worked.